So I decided to make a video on how to take apart the Hawaiian Breeze tower fan. And you'll find that it's pretty simple. But I couldn't find any other videos or any other real instructions online, so I thought I'd make one myself. <clears throat> now on this one, the first thing you're going to have to do is take out these screws. And there's one there and there. And you're just using a regular Phillips screwdriver. And at the bottom here, for the pedestal, there is just a little screw nut. I'll show you from this other one here. And you just unscrew that. And this pops right off once you unscrew it. And then you take the... Uh, electrical cord out of it <laughs> once you accomplish that comes the fun part <clears throat> now right along this edge here there are about uh, one two three, four, five different areas here along the way. And there's clips. Little clips on the inside of this thing. And I just used a regular flathead screwdriver. And you'll want to start down here at the bottom. And uh, just begin pushing in and getting in between this little crack here the little seam and once you do that you'll want to put something once you get this first one out you'll want to put something in there to keep it kind of spread open because if you don't every time you try another area here uh, it'll snap back closed on you anyway just Go along there, pop those out, and once you get it popped out, uh, the back will pop, uh, the whole back will just come right off. Uh, once you get inside, at the top of the fan carousel, uh, there's two more screws on the inside there. There's two more screws. You take those two screws off uh, and then uh, slip the top of that off. It's got a little rubber deal there. Uh, a little plastic, a little plastic with a black rubber piece on top. You can't see it here, but trust me, it's there. Take that off. Don't take the rubber piece off of the plastic. Just take that whole piece off. And at the bottom of the carousel, uh, you'll see there's another Phillips screw uh, which holds, holds the uh, fan carousel uh, to the motor drive. And you'll just back off of that screw. Now with mine, it was on there a little tight for my Phillips, so I had to take a flathead to it uh, and uh, free the screw. Uh, and then once you do that, it slides it slides right off, and then you can take it to the sink and rinse it out real well. Now, the reason I took this apart was because it was fairly dirty, much like this one. If you can see the dirt there, and all inside. And all along the back and on the inside anyway it looked just like that on the inside maybe worse <clears throat> uh, 
Now, once you get the uh, fan carousel off and get it all clean, get the back of this cleaned up and everything, you still have the front side of this to clean. Now, I took mine to the sink and turned the water on lightly uh, and rinsed in areas, uh, trying to keep away from, trying to keep the water away from the motor and away from the switches on the inside up top. So, uh, I wasn't very successful at that, but I gave it a shot. Anyway, I finished uh, cleaning with a uh, sponge and a rag and a toothbrush. Uh, and that took care of it. Got it all nice and clean in there and popped it back together. Uh, and then started putting the screws back on and uh, now I just have to put the uh, the base back on anyway that's pretty much it it's a fairly simple process it's just when you're working on the seams here when you're working on getting and you only have to do the seams on the one side once you get once you get it open here, once you get it open, uh, once you get it pried open all along that seam, you can see my screwdriver marks. All the way down to the end. But once you get it open, everything else is pretty much dog chase cat, see Susie run. Dr. Seuss Easy. So, I hope this helps.